Hello! I want to show you guys a deck that I have been working with. It's an Oracle deck. Um, since... Oh gosh. Probably when it came out. Uh, really? I'm going to say since... 2009? Maybe? Um, let's see, when was this published? Oh, 2007. Gosh. Okay, so I must have bought this the year I graduated high school. Because <laughs> I remember buying it when it was, it had, j it was, it wasn't even out yet, and I was excited for it. So, 2007. Um, I've been using this deck since 2007. So, it's awesome. It's an Oracle deck. Um, which I'm sure you pretty much all know what an Oracle deck is as opposed to a tarot deck. So anywho, um, I th oh, I'm shuffling. Am I giving a reading? <laughs> Muscle memory. Anywho, I've probably showed it, I think probably a long time ago, like five years ago when I started this channel on this channel, I probably showed it at some point, but uh, I wanted to share it again because I feel like it does not get enough love. It is really great really really good deck of course I'm being biased because I've been working with this since 2007 but it's the um, wisdom of Avalon Oracle by Colette Baron Reed it's 52 cards that is the Lady of the Lake on the front that's not how I picture the Lady of the Lake but that's fine everyone has their own way of picturing things it does come with like a little guidebook this is the back of the cards there you go I think that's beautiful. Oh my god, look, I'm like shaking, like, uh -huh. Um, and let's go see the cards. They're, t they're really wonderful. Um, there's birth and rebirth. Sorry, should I put my face out of frame? There you go. Birth and rebirth. There is the hawk. Um, oh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to read that. Um, maybe, no, um, uh, that's omens and messages. There is the B, which is luck, industriousness, and sweet victory. Um, there's communication. Um, and what I like about these two, let's see if I can find it. Yeah. So in all of these cards that are not animals and people, <laughs> um, there's always like a hidden symbol somewhere. And then this one, there's a spiral. Um, she probably goes over that in the guidebook, but honestly, I don't remember. I usually, uh, I never use the guidebook actually on any Oracle deck I buy. I just jump in. Um... There's the cat, which is independence and healthy boundaries. Kind of a Siamese cat-ish. There's the bard, which is <clears throat> music, poetry, myth, history, and the enchantment of storytelling. There's the owl, which of course is deception and wisdom. There's a card called Burden. I think, let's see, where's the hidden image? Right there in the bark. But yeah, Burden. And wow, this makes me want to reread the book now. The Queen, which is woman, fertility, feminine power, sexuality, and friendships. Um, also, these are split up, kind of like Major Arcana and Minor Arcana. So the ones with people on it are called the messengers of Avalon, whereas the ones that are just, you know, words, are the sacred journey markers. And then animals are the animal guides of Avalon, so. Um, oh, we also have fairies in this, and they have their own title too, they're the guides of fairy. So we have the earth fairy. She is physical health, grounding, and foundations. We have forgiveness. You can really see the symbol right there. It's pretty obvious. Forgiveness. 
We have the dog. Of course, if we have the cat, we have to have the dog. Loyalty, sincerity, and unconditional love. A little golden retriever or a lab or I don't I don't know dogs. Golden retriever. Restriction. The fire fairy. Um, creative action and optimism. Wealth. The horse, which is accepting help from another, delegating authority. Very important lesson. And we have focus, partnership, disruption, joy, the novice, innocence, beginner, ignorance, new skill without practice, and unstable curiosity. It's a little harsh. <laughs> we have the serpent, which is knowledge and healing. Very unchristian approach to that card the high priestess discernment um, <laughs> uh, prophecy and vision and what what word is that why am I acting like I've never seen this card before why what, what huh sorry I just totally got enthralled by this card that's weird <laughs> messages um, the goblin which is the wounded human ego. I am someone on my path who <laughs> primarily used to work with outside of God's elves. And I made a really cool video, in my opinion, about that several years ago about elves. But I've really been moving over into goblins as, ironically, as my physical body changes and I age, I move more into goblin territory, not elf territory. <laughs> um, we have the deer, gentleness and diplomacy. We have protection. We have the frog. Cleaning house, releasing emotional baggage. Who knew the frog was so powerful? Um, of course we have love. I think this is an interesting image for love. A set of steps. We have the eagle, which is spirit, integrity, and connection to the angelic realm. We have the butterfly, which is beauty. <clears throat> she keeps that really simple in this deck. I'm not sure why. I see the butterfly as maybe one of the most complex totems in existence. Um, the spider, creative projects, also can mean so much more, obviously. The stag, pride and leadership. The wind fairy, thoughts, words, intellectual analysis. And I do love how, this is 2007, and these this deck is so inclusive of different ethnicities. Um, it's not just all white people because it's a deck about Avalon, and I really appreciate that. And she was really ahead of the game in 2007, because this is before you know, we've gotten to now, where people are finally trying to be like, oh yeah, let's be inclusive, which they should have been doing the whole time. The cow, nourishment, abundance, asking, and receiving. I really love cows a lot. Um, the mystery. It's a very powerful card for me. I, I'm all about the mystery as a concept. Um, the raven. Magic, coincidence, and um, synchronistic events. It's a fond totem for a lot of our community. Truth. And it's a bridge with water under it. Interesting. The water fairy. Feelings and emotions. I love water I'm a cancer um, the swan uh, transformation trusting the psychic gifts uh, fear and again the imagery to some of these words are very interesting that she chooses like it's all nature scenery every time but it's not typically imagery I would associate with those words the Grail Knight. Romance, illusion, and seeking the sacred. Trust. The Merlin. Not Merlin. The Merlin. Uh, alchemy, justice, and balance. Uh, 
Uh, the king, man, authority, male sexual energy, things pertaining to the law, and justice. Letting go. And it's a waterfall, which I do find appropriate. Movement. And it shows stagnant water, which is <laughs> choices. Uh, <laughs> risk. I get that picture for risk, and it's like a three pathed road actually not just one there's little arrows down here but I probably would have chose this for fear instead of risk but that's just me the wasp anger retaliation and jealousy they could have just had a picture of a Karen on there <laughs> um, death I find it very appropriate that death is an ocean card because you know Avalon by association the Celts Menon, Lear, Menon McLear, um, Underworld Gods, Ocean Gods, uh, the Dragon, um, Power and Strength, and finally, Perception, um, oh, well, I say finally, but we'll get to that, Perception, and then there is a card for the Lady of the Lake. However, she is currently, well, she's always, on my altar because I work with the Lady of the Lake heavily. Um, here, I'll look up what she means for you, though. <clears throat> Let's see. My altar's in another room, so. Let's see. Here we go. Lady of the Lake. Absolute truth, courage, self-respect, and responsibility. And it's it's really just um, the image on the front of the box for her card. But yes, I, I do think it's weird that Morgan Le Fay does not have, um, or King Arthur, a, although I guess they have the Grail Knight to cover him and Lancelot and everyone else. But it is weird to me that there's not a Morgan Le Fay card in this deck. I take it personally. <laughs> But it is a really good deck. It has such straightforward words. I mean, fear, disruption, risk, love, letting go. These are things that are very, very easy to read and interpret. Um, it is very, re very easy to read and interpret a reading for yourself, if that's something you struggle with, and for other people. I mean, honestly, it's very, very easy to use. The Wisdom of Avalon, Oracle of the Cards. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. So many hands have touched this deck since I bought it. So many hands. Um, but it's, it's fabulous. And you should check it out. I just wanted to share it again. So, that's it. Thank you, um, as always. Oh, and comment, please, and like this video. But most importantly, please subscribe. A lot, a lot of you seem to watch my videos, which I... I Hello, obviously, I'm putting them on YouTube. I want you to watch them. I appreciate that so much. But if you could subscribe, that would be really great. All right, thank you.